<laughs> it pulled the the kite pulled the guy up off the ground by about two and a half feet. So this is a Wednesday, you can imagine what it's like on a weekend. Horses like the beach.
I have to say, since I've been filming the rides in 4K, everything looks great. The water looks fantastic. I may have to start a water channel. But in the meantime, if I'm staring at the water, then you get to stare at the water. So these are not clouds exactly, it's the marine layer burning off as we get into the afternoon. It was quite overcast when I caught the train down and for most of the ride. But they sure are pretty. they have places where they want you to do each water activity because these are all guys on jet skis before it was guys uh, parasurfing or whatever that is. Uh, which seems smart. And I find it aesthetically pleasing. Fencing is unfortunate. So this is a big loop. The island's not very big. This is, I think, mostly just a sand dune. Maybe a little bit of space in between. I see there's a fence, so they don't want you crossing straight over.
Well, this fence is a drag. I'll come back. Maybe leftover from the July 4th weekend. I don't know. Maybe they put it up in the summer so people were not all uh, just driving in wherever they want. Stand focus. Yes, it's funny, a lot of the places that I ride to are a lot more pleasant off-season than on, but here we are. cars on the... I'll try again. I love it when you can see cars on the uh, roller coasters. Like right there where they just dropped. approve of that trailer. speaking. When you come in, to me at least, the plane seems like it's coming right through downtown, that there are almost skyscrapers taller than you as you descend, but when you come out, they take you out over the Pacific Ocean and then turn you around out there. Let you fly wherever. <laughs> A 
I was going to hazard a guess at what we were looking at, but that would be silly. Even if I was right, I'd mispronounce it. <laughs> 